it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. As the sun rises and as it brightens, it gives me new hope for a new beginning. Meaning that every day we always have to look at the goodness of God that we can enjoy. And of course, we are always favored by the mercy and grace of God. And today's video, allow me to make an update about the African lovebirds breeding. You know that these African lovebirds are very hardy birds. They are not that difficult to manage and they are even prolific. If we can just provide them with the good food, the good environment, and the good care. And just allow me to say a few things that you should not do for your hand-fed chicks of this African lovebirds. Good morning. Let me check on your babies. Well, you know our history, the history of this channel. And I can recall that when we decided to produce babies of these birds, we started with only eight pairs, 16 of them, actually. And now we can see over a hundred. If we're gonna compute or include those birds that had already been sold, then we can count maybe more than a hundred, maybe close to 200 babies already that we have produced out of this very small aviary. And the principle is very easy. There's no secret about this. We have to just feed them, of course, with good food. And then, we have to clean the area. And then we have to be very keen enough to observe whether there are already ants and even the rats that are coming in. Because if this is going to happen in your aviary, they will stop laying eggs. All of them, they will stop laying eggs because they are threatened. They are not at peace. They are always scared. And this affects the breeding system. Another thing is that we should not forget to provide them with good nesting materials because these nesting materials are very instrumental also for the production. Because once they feel comfortable, once they feel that they have a nest where to lay their eggs, they will really multiply. They will start breeding and they will start laying their eggs.
So the nesting materials, which are dried grasses, you can do many things. There are many available materials that you can use. Even the stick of this moringa can be used as nesting material for this African lovebirds. The first thing that I can tell you about what not to do to our hand-fed baby is this one. Do not hand-fed the chicks of the African lovebirds less than three weeks old. And this is very important because if you're gonna hand-feed them at the tender age, there's a chance that they will die because they still need the warmth and the care of their parents. So from day old, up to three weeks, you should leave this to the natural care of the parents. And then after three weeks, that's the time that you're gonna start hand feeding if you decide to hand feed them. I have here a very young baby. You can see this one. These are very young babies that are only two weeks old. And I don't want to recommend them for hand feeding because they're still very young and they still need the warmth and embrace of the parents. That's the reason why we were able to produce plenty of these African lovebirds because we also doing alongside the hand feeding. Hand feeding of the babies of these African lovebirds is one of the most effective methods for you to maximize the production of your birds because we can allow the parents to lay eggs again and then produce babies again in a quicker time, in a short period of time. So we will return this back because I don't want to disturb this and we will try the other nest if we can get some bigger babies for hand feeding. Wow, I can see here babies that are good already for hand feeding and they are bigger in size already. And this is what I've told you. Another thing that I can tell you is that once you decide to hand feed your baby African lovebirds, then you have to place them in a container which is very secure because these babies are prone to be attacked by the ants, by the rats, by the cats, by the lizards, and many other predators that would come over and get your babies. So this is very important. You have to secure them in a place where they could not be attacked by the predators. Another thing that I can tell you that you should not do to your hand-fed babies. Don't feed them with the food which are not sterilized. I must say this. So we normally put hot water in order to sterilize everything. Meaning, you will sterilize the syringe, you will sterilize the utensils that you're gonna do. And even the rice powder, or if you're using the Cerelac or rice powder, you have to put some hot water in order to cook this one so that their gut or their tummy will not be affected. With this method of bird farming, we have produced plenty of colors, variety of colors. And in fact, we already have sold more than a dozen, maybe two or three dozens already since we started this bird farming. And as you can see, the breeders, they are all well and they're all active and they are happy birds. And this is my desire. If we're gonna start the boathouse, we also gonna make or build this very big aviary of African lovebirds where people can just visit and watch these colorful birds. And they can also feed the moringa and even the water spinach and have a picture and have an understanding about the behavior and the characteristics of this beautiful bird.
So this is all that we can share. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative and very educational videos. Only here at Dexter's World!